hi everyone in this video we will learn about the proc file system so what is a proc file system proc file system is a virtual file system which gives us information about all the different processes running in the kernel about the hardware and the kernel itself so let's open a terminal and see what all files are there in the proc file system so i'll do cd slash proc and if i do ls so we have handful of files with some names and then there are many directories all of them have some numbers as their names so what does each of this num number signify so each of this is a process PID so whenever we start a new process we'll have a new uh, directory in this folder and each of that directory will contain information about that process so for instance one is the PID of init process so this directory will contain information about the init process let's start a sleep process sleep thousand and okay so we have nine three eight six as the pid let's do ls so you can see that here we have nine three eight six uh, directory let's go inside that directory and let's see what all files are there there are a couple of files let's uh, start with cmd line it will give me all the command line arguments which were used to start this process so we use sleep thousands so it's showing me that and uh, then there are a couple of soft links here you can see cwd exe all of these are soft links let's list all the files in long form so here you can see that uh, exe points to the executable uh, which is running in this process so it is pointing to slash bin slash sleep which contains the code for sleep command and then there is this cwd link which is pointing to slash proc so it's point to the current working directory for this process and then there is this root which is pointing to slash and mostly in all of the processes it will be slash except when we use ch root to change the root let's see what does this status has so if i do cat status so it shows me the pid of this process which is 9386 then the parent pid which is three zero double seven six and then the state of this process which is sleeping so on and so forth and let's see what else do we have then there is this ft folder which contains links to all the open file descriptors so if i do cd fd and let's list all the file descriptors so here all the input output and error are pointing to this terminal which is dev slash pt slash zero all right then we have this uh environment file which contains all the environment variables for this process so if i cat environment so it has a lot of environment variables set for instance clutter im module is set to xim so on and so forth let's go back and see what all files were there then there is this cpu info file which gives me information about the cpu so if i do cpu info uh so it gives me information about each of the processor because i have eight processors so it lists all of them from zero to seven and it shows me the vendor which is intel then uh, it is a 1.80 gigahertz processor and some other information similarly there is a mem info file which gives me information about the memory it shows me which is the total memory which is the free memory available memory etc so uh, that's how you can get various information and one more thing if i list it in a long format then you can see that all of these directories have size zero and why is that so because as i had mentioned it is a virtual file system so it doesn't use any disk space any space in the hard drive so all of these are of size zero and it is created in memory when the system boots up and when the system shuts down it dissolves this and then we just have an empty proc folder then uh, we had learned in the previous videos about different commands such as ps which lists the current processes so all of these commands actually use data from the proc file system and just display it in a user friendly format and we also have a man page for proc file system so if you do man proc so it shows that there is a numerical subdirectory for each running process in slash proc slash pid and then within each pid folder there are various other subdirectories or files you can read about all of this if you want 
सो दैट्स इट अबाउट द प्रोफाइल सिस्टम थैंक्स एंड हैव ए नाइस डे